Hello guys, so welcome back to our VHD day lessons. In this lesson, we're gonna do the same up down counter, but the other design with JK flip flop. So we did this design already in the lecture, and here is the, you know the circuit, the final circuit that we reached. So you have two JK flip flops. The first one has same inputs. I mean, J is equal to K equal to X X or Q B, and you know the second one has constant input of one. Of course, it's, it's really simple, you know. It, ha it uses less number of gates than the one with D flip flop. Okay, so uh, so basically we need here a, J a JK flip flop. So here, here I, this is my design for the JK flip flop. Okay, uh, there is a reset. So the reset here is in in the design itself, and I did this design behavior. This it's by description. It's not uh, you know combining packages. You know that we did before. So. This is basically uh, another way of coding, which is the behavioral, you know, complete behavioral coding. Okay, behavioral coding means you describe the function of the circuit. You are not uh, connecting modules together, you know, like AND or, 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 you know, some package here, some package there, you know, just a description. So if the reset is one, then Q uh, will be zero. Okay, or QQ, QQ is just a signal and at the end here Q is the final output will be equal to QQ. Okay, then on the rising edge, uh, then based on uh, G and K, you know, we're gonna set uh, Q and the Q bar. So for example, G0, K1, this is a set state, so Q is equal to zero. G1, K0, this is a set state, so Q will be one. Uh, J1, Q1, this is the toggle state. So Q will be not its previous value, okay? Uh, here, I didn't mention J0, K0, or the case in which J0, K0, which is the memory state, because you know, by default, if, if nothing change, you know, uh, Q will not change, okay? Or basically the, uh, the design by itself will not set Q to anything rather than what's what, what its original value if K and uh, if G and K change it to zero zero. Okay, because I didn't mention it here. Okay, if you want to do it, you, you can of course do it. It's, it will be just another itself. Okay, so here is now the, the design itself. Uh, let's you know get back the, the circuit. So we need two JK flip-flops, okay? Uh, we need to set J A and K A, G B and K B. So here is J A and K, uh, G A, X X O Q B, K A is X X X O Q B, and G B is one, K B is one. It's exactly it's a copy and based copy and based from the up down counter using the flip-flop, but I just changed a few lines. Then here I am instantiating the two instances of the J K. So uh, the inputs of this JK is the four inputs basically, J and K, the reset and the clock. Then the output is QA and Q uh, and the QA bar. This second one is the same, but in its two it will be B, okay? And again, YA is QA and YB, uh, YA is Y of zero here. Uh, I'm sorry, YB is Y of zero and YA is, is uh, uh, is QA, okay? And again, why I just concatenated YA and, and YB in just one variable so that it will be easier, you know, to see or to track in the output, just like this, three, two, one, you know, it's a count. The test bench is, you know, exactly the same as the one for, uh, exactly the same for the up down counter using D flip flop. Also, I just, you know, change it D flip flop to JK flip flop. And here is the output. So when the reset is zero, you, you know, the output is just zero. Then when the reset goes down to zero, now the, the, the circuit can do its function. Its function is an up down counter. It going, uh, it makes up count if X is one, it, make, it makes down count when X is zero. On the positive edge. So here is the first positive edge, X is one. So uh, we're gonna uh, decrease. So uh, the current count is zero, so it's a reset. So we go to three. Second, the clock edge, so from three to two because X is one, so down count. Again, from two to one, one to zero. 
then x becomes zero now. So when the first uh, most of edge comes, zero will be one because we are incrementing now. One will, will be two, two will be three. So we're gonna increment each time a most of edge comes until we reach the final value. We could two bit, so the maximum is three. Then we're gonna reset again. Okay, it's really very simple design. Once you understand the deep flip flop based up down counter, you're gonna understand, you know, uh, the JK flip flop one. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye bye.